Hi everyone, welcome to this demonstration of graph visualization actions in Yum, GraphRR's Insights engine. This demonstration will show how the limitation of graph visualization can be solved by providing the user to run business specific queries during his visualization journey. We have here our schema of the visualization, which is based on the Stack Overflow uh, dataset that you can easily import by typing play Stack Overflow in the NeoFG browser. We have questions, answers, user either having asked a question or provided an answer to a question. And questions are tagged by a specific tag like NeoFG or Cypher or Spring Data Neo4j. Common use case with this visualization could be, for example, finding user prominent in a specific tag. Let's take the Spring Data Neo4j tag and search for it. Here we have Spring Data Neo4j. We can expand the tag to find the questions, and already here, we can encounter some limitations. It's not really understandable by the user what is already displayed on the screen when working with real data sets in a graph database. We can see that this tag has so many questions, and we would have actually to expand the question to find the user having provided the answer. You can understand that finding prominent user here would probably be impossible. In Yum, we allow people actually to provide named actions that allow to perform business specific queries. So let's see how we can create an action to find, let's say the top user having asked questions. We have here our actions editor when we can add a new action. We have a implementer name, for example, show top question people. And here, find top users asking. The scope of the action will be global. It means that we don't have to select a particular node in the graph. So the action will show up in the search bar. Here, we can type the cipher query that is used to perform the action. So we find all the user having asked a question and we return them ordered by frequency of ask relationship and return the top 10 user. So let's create the action. And now, if we go to the search bar, we can see the actions showing up here. Let's first clear up our canvas and run the action. Here, other people having asked the most question on Stack Overflow in the Neo4j tag category, because we have imported only the Neo4j tag related questions. Right. We can do the same for finding the top answerers. So let's create a new action, top answerers, find top answerers. Again, it's a global action. Here is our site query, find the user that have provided the most answer and return the top 10. We can now see the action here and return the top user. The user is not limited to simple queries. For example, we can find use cases where the user would have to provide some input. Let's take this action, for example. We want to find the influencer for a specific tag. What we want to achieve with the action is that when the user click on the action, he should be prompted to enter the name of a tag. Of course, he cannot remember all tag names. 
So the input will be uh, autocomplete that is reflected by using the Neo4j full text search on the tag node. Once the user has clicked on a suggested tag, this will perform the query with the clicked suggestion passed as a tag parameter in the query. If I would go here, I have now my action influencers for tag. I can click here. As expected, I am prompted to enter the name of a tag. So let's type spring. Now, this returns the result of a query against the Neo4j full text search index. I can click on that suggestion and then submit the full query. And here on the canvas, we see only the relevant information that I need to perform my analysis. We have the Neo4j, the Spring Data Neo4j tag in the middle, the questions and all the users, the top users having answered this question. Users are not limited to return graph data as the result of an action. There is a frequent use case where we want to return a chart to display stock details or frequency of questions being asked on the form, for example. So we can take our tag again, for example, Spring Data Neo4j. And if we look in the actions, I have a local action. So here we will click on the node and we will be suggested a list of action. And one of them will be of type chart, where actually I will return the top answers for a specific tag and return a map object that can be displayed as a chart. Let's see here. I can see show popularity over time. For this topic. So we can see from April 2019 to March 2020, the number of questions that have been asked for this particular topic. Another action can be to return data in a tabular format. Here, we will create a complex action. We will not query the data from the graph. We will actually make use of an API in order to retrieve additional information about a user. So I will search for a specific user here. This is a Stack Overflow user. And the goal of the action is to query the Neo4j Community Forum API in order to find the user and return its ID, its name, and also the list of badges that the user has on the community forum. We will look at the action here. We make use of APOC to perform a REST API call. And we actually combine the response of the REST API into a map in order to retrieve tabular data. You can see here, the return type of the action is tabular. Let's run it. Here, it is the same user, but on the Neo4j community forum. This is the ID of the user on the forum. And this is the user badges that the that user has earned on the forum. Querying data, it's not the only thing you can do with actions. You can see here in our schema that there is this similar to relationship that is faded out. This means actually that there are zero relationship of that type in the database. The goal of the action that we will create is to be able to find similar user based on some logic with a cipher query and create that relationship during 
the action and return the result of the creation. Let's try first to return the top user. So let's create an action. Find similar. Find users like this. It's a local action. I can perform this action only on user nodes. This is the query. And I have to give a Cypher query parameter, which is actually the ID of the node on which we click, which will be available as $ID in the Cypher query. We can see here, this is a query, find that user we click on, and find user having answered similar questions that then user, and return the top 10 similar user. Let's create the action, find that user, the user again, Now I have my new actions, find users like this, and it returns the top 10 similar user than the one we clicked on. Here we return the user, so no data created. Let's create a new action with the creation part. Same thing, merge, similar. Merge users. Again, this action can only be performed on user nodes. And here is the query. Same as before, we find the top 10 similar users, but we create a relationship between them and we return the created data. Let's see now here. I have my new action, merge similar users. And now we can see that that relationship is created during the execution of the action. If we look at our schema overview, we can see we have an ten similar to relationship into the graph. The limitations of actions is actually your imagination. You can return charts, write data, query APIs like Wikidata, forums, stock data, Meteo data. All of them can then enrich and improve your experience during your graph visualization journey. This is all for today. Please leave questions in the chat or send an email to info at graphroy.com if you're interested in a more advanced demo. Thank you.